In a glamorous palace at Madara Kingdom, there lived a prince named Philip. He was well known for his bright and handsome appearance. The girls who met Philip were all enchanted by his charm. Oh, how handsome Prince Philip is! I wish I could be his wife! Druettis, the most wicked witch in the area, was not an exception. She continuously appeared by his side, sweet-talking and trying to lure the prince. Hmm? If you agree to be my husband, I will grant you ultimate power that no one can match. Stay away from me. Don't waste your time. I have no feelings for you. After being rejected, the witch was extremely angry, but she couldn't harm the prince because she truly loved his handsome face. Near the palace, there lived a girl named Louise. She was the most beautiful girl in the village. Everyone had to be in awe of her beauty. Her husband was Adam, but he was chronically ill which made Luis's life filled with worry and anxiety. She found all the possible ways to cure him, but Adam's illness got worse and worse. He was gradually weaker. In the most desperate moment, not knowing how to save Adam, the witch Druettis appeared and gave her a deal. I will cure your husband immediately, but in return, you must give me your beauty. How about that, beautiful girl? Although hesitant, Luis reluctantly accepted this deal because it was the only way to save her husband now. I agree, I agree. Please help my husband, he won't be able to stand it much longer. The witch smiled cunningly <laughs> and took Luisa's beauty away, turning her into an ugly girl. Blemishes appeared on her face, which even made everyone horrified while looking at her. After obtaining Luisa's exquisite beauty, the witch joyfully gave her a magical potion and then quickly left. Luis hurriedly gave the potion to her husband, and to her astonishment, he woke up completely healthy. Overwhelmed by emotion, Luis rushed to hug Adam. However, to her surprise, Adam irritatedly pushed her away. Who are you? I'm your wife, hmm? Louise? No, my wife can't huh? be as ugly as you are. Quickly go away. <laughs> Louise was astonished. She couldn't believe her ears. Go away immediately and never appear in front of me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dreda's witch, after having a new appearance, hmm? she immediately went to find the prince with the hope that she could be able to seduce hmm? him. Now I have this supreme beauty. Will you marry me? Never. Give up that intention. Being constantly <gasps> rejected by the prince, the witch huh? was so angry that she lost control of her power accidentally injuring her. Oh no, my handsome face. Luckily, he's still all right. The prince was so frightened, then he immediately ran away from the palace. Hmm. Being exhausted, he fainted by a nearby stream. About Louise, after being chased away, she had to live temporarily in a cave near the stream. Looking at herself in the water, Louise became even more self-conscious. With this ugly face, how could Adam dare to come near me? Suddenly, from huh? a distance, she saw the handsome Prince Philip, who was famous throughout the kingdom, drifting along the stream. Without hesitation, she rescued the prince and brought him to her place. She carefully took care of the prince there. Looking at the prince, she remembered huh? her husband, Adam, and it made her heart ache even more. Surprisingly, the prince huh? woke up, huh? and Louise joyfully hmm. raised him up. Why am I here? I saw you drifting in that stream, so I brought you here. Thank you so much for saving me. You are truly a kind-hearted girl. Since his health hadn't fully recovered, the prince had to stay in the cave with Louise until he recovered. After several days of being together, Philip felt that Louise was an incredibly kind girl, and he gradually had feelings for her. Getting to know Louise's story, he felt even more sympathetic and wanted to cover her. Would you like to be by my side? We can be together and take care of each other for the rest of our lives. Louise was surprised by the prince's feelings, but she firmly rejected, as her heart remained loyal to her husband, Adam. Thank you for your sincerity, but I can never betray my husband. Although he was very sad, the prince wanted the one he loved to be happy, so he thought of a way to help her. He took Louise back to the palace, had her dressed up, and had her hair and makeup done, <laughs> making her look more beautiful than ever. Luis hmm. thanked the prince and hurriedly left the palace and went back to find Adam. Prince Philip hmm. watched her go, feeling hmm. sad, and silently wished her hmm. happiness. With her beautiful hmm. appearance, Luis met Adam and made him really surprised. <laughs> wow, Luis, my beautiful wife, you're back? I missed you so much. Suddenly, a heavy huh? rain fell. 
washing away the makeup on Luis's face. Adam was really shocked while seeing the blemishes on Luis's face reappear. He changed his expression and scornfully mocked Luis. You trying to deceive me? No, it's not what you think. But Adam refused to listen, continuously ridiculed her, and chased her away once again. She left with sorrow. Little did Luis know that Prince Philip had been following and observing everything. Seeing her suffer because of Adam, he was even more hurtful. Suddenly, a woman approached the prince. Huh? Well, it's a pity. If that girl had the rainbow flower from the top of Annapurna Mountain, she wouldn't have been rejected like that. What are you saying? Explain it clearly. Sir, on the faraway peak of Annapurna Mountain, there is a mysterious rainbow flower. Whoever possesses that flower will become incredibly beautiful. But that flower is not easily picked. Only those with high nobility can touch it. After knowing that, for the one he loved, Philip immediately set off. The way to Annapurna Peak was really challenging and dangerous. The prince had to pass through the hottest area, following by an icy and bone-chilling path. After reaching the treacherous peak of Annapurna Mountain, finally he found the rainbow flower. Having obtained the flower, the prince hurriedly returned to give it to Luis. Why are you here? As the prince placed the flower in Luis's hair, a radiant glow emitted from her body, and her beautiful face also returned. <laughs> Luis quickly went back to find Adam without noticing that the prince now had a blemish on his face, hmm. just like hers. Luis stood before Adam, looking breathtakingly beautiful. <laughs> Strangely, Adam burst into laughter and turned into the wicked witch. <laughs> you are all fools! She stole the flower from Luis's hair and placed it in her own. She immediately became beautiful. Turned out, the power to steal the beauty of ordinary people only had a temporary effect on the witch. Only the rainbow flower could grant her eternal beauty. And the rainbow flower could only be picked by those with pure heart. So, she had planned to deceive the prince to take it for her. Adam, my husband, where is he? What have you done to him? Are you still thinking for that worthless man? All he wanted was your beautiful face. A little seduction and he easily fell into my trap, giving me his face. He probably won't dare to come back with that ugly face anymore. <laughs> you are so foolish to believe that he truly loved you. True love was right in front of you, but you couldn't see it. You and Philip are both foolish! At that moment, huh? Louise hurtfully realized it all. Because of her blind and loyal love with Adam, she hadn't been able to feel the love of Philip for her. Huh? Then, the Malice Witch used all of her hatred and magic power to finish Louise. <laughs> Prince Philip rushed in from nowhere to cover her. What are you doing? Why protect someone who doesn't love you? I've done everything, but you always rejected me! A dangerous and cunning person like you will never deserve love. No matter how beautiful your face may become, huh? you're still a wicked person who huh? makes others feel dreadful. Alright! Then you two can love each other in hell! <laughs> Then, she cast a spell to finish them. However, the rainbow flower was suddenly darkened. It turned out that the flower contained a magic that only worked on those of pure heart. For those with evil intentions, it had the opposite effect. Under the power of the flower, the wicked witch completely vanished into dust, to the astonishment of Luis and Philip. Huh? In the end, Luis was deeply moved by Philip's hmm. sincere love. Once again, Philip mm -hmm. proposed to Louise, kneeling down huh? to ask for her hand. Huh? I'm no longer the handsome prince, but I still love you with all my heart. Will you be with me for the rest of our lives? Yes, I agree. Sorry and thank you for everything. <laughs> <laughs>
in that magical kingdom, there were two close friends named Agatha and Sophie. Unlike Agatha's shy, timid look, Sophie was a haughty lady who loved to read fairy tales and dreamed of becoming a rich princess because she thought her appearance and demeanor deserved more in the lavish and splendid places. However, Sophie would be willing to join anyone who dared to speak badly or touch Agatha, who had taken Sophie with her when her family had the hardest time. One day, while waiting for Sophie to borrow books from the library, Agatha still worked and met a young man who was spending his last few coins to buy food for the poor child. <laughs> Appreciating his heart, Agatha offered him some food, but was stopped by Sophie. Agatha, we're poor enough! Don't give away our stuff to any strangers like that! I'm sorry, then let me give it back. No, you just take it and go! Agatha! Sophie, it's just one or two apples that won't make us rich. Besides, I'm sure if we help people, sometimes they'll help us. Aren't all the fairy tales you read like that? All right, consider it a blessing. Speaking of stories, today I found this fairy tale book of ancient magic. It says that if we go to the wishing tree in this village on the night of the meteor shower, all wishes will be fulfilled, and there will be a hundred year meteor shower this weekend. So let's go there and fulfill our dream of being rich. Even though Agatha huh? didn't believe in fairy tales because of her best friend, she nodded in agreement. <laughs> On that night, no matter what they prayed for, such as gold and silver treasures, large houses, etc., it all didn't come true. Huh? During the sadness, they suddenly heard an old woman fall nearby, so they rushed to look at the situation. However, Sophie was afraid of her beautiful huh? dress being dirty, so she showed dissatisfaction mm. and only watched them bandage the wound. <laughs> Appreciating the hearts of the two of them, the old lady mm. gave them the star bracelet of friendship and turned herself into a star fairy. It turned out that it was the wishing fairy who lived in the wishing tree for thousands of years and waited for the destined people to come here to fulfill the wish. Having the chance to return to the rich life of the past, Sophie quickly <laughs> said her wish. I've been living a poor life too long. Therefore, I wish to have the status of worthy of my true identity right now. What's your wish that you look so thoughtful? I was wondering, how long have you been here and given people wishing? The Star Fairy was startled to hear <gasps> Agatha's question, huh? but she answered honestly. Maybe? Huh? It's been thousands of years huh? since I was given the mission huh? to grant wishes and not to leave the wishing tree half a step away. Because I've seen things change, things grow freely, compared to myself a long time ago. That's so! Actually, I have a close friend, a good job, and I also love to help people. But sometimes, I also feel tired and need my own space to relax, freely do what I like. So I wish you would be free huh? to do what you want after all that hard work. Mm. The fairy was amazed by Agatha's <sighs> wish, but she still smiled and fulfilled mm. the wish. When Agatha awoke, she became a princess who lived in a splendid castle. But Sophie was trapped in a witch's huh? house, with dark aura all around her. What's going on? Why am I in this weird place? Don't you wish huh? you had the status you deserve? Therefore, being the bride of the darkest witch is for me huh? the best option for you. That can't be! If it's my wish, I'd be the lady or the princess and can't be the bride of darkest witch! Why not? Agatha has a vague appearance, but she has a kind character. But you, you have a rocky and ambitious character. Very suitable as my wonderful bride. So, if our two powers huh? are united by a kiss of love, <laughs> you will help me escape this place and conquer the kingdom. <laughs> no, I can't be your wife, and there must be some confusion between my position and Agatha's. I have to find Agatha and get this straight. <laughs> <gasps> you can't go to the castle. The soldiers there will surely drive you out, because you have the dark glory of a witch. So be good, and stay in the room. After that, even though Sophie imprisoned in the witch house, she refused to bow down to the enticements that she should give up Prince and Agatha. Sophie even tried to sneak out at late night.
However, as the Dark Witch said, when the soldiers saw Sophie radiate a dark aura, they definitely huh? did not let her in. Huh? At this moment, Agatha was also lounging in the palace because she did not know why she was here and became a princess. Suddenly, she heard huh? Sophie's voice, so she was glad to run out and accidentally stumble. Fortunately, huh? Prince Tedros just returned huh? from the neighboring country huh? to hold her in front of the astonishment of Agatha and Sophie. Huh? The prince? Was the poor man the other hmm. day? Yes, because the Star Fairy sent me a dream that she was grateful for your kindness and huh? made you a princess. I returned to the castle as quickly as I could to meet my benefactor and my future wife. Despite hearing the prince's explanation, Sophie did not believe the truth and was about to intervene in the next conversation when she was summoned by the Dark Witch. Huh? Huh? Let me go! Why did you arrest me? I tried to get out of here, try to meet Agatha and the prince, but... No matter how hard you try, Tedros's heart belongs to Agatha. And I am the only one huh? who understands your power potential. Always taking care of me huh? and huh? taking you away from these people. Huh? If you still want to be a princess, then after the two of us combine, huh? our magic huh? can rule this kingdom. I will help you live with the throne you want. Hearing the sweet words from the witch, plus the fire of hatred burning in her mind, Sophie was gradually persuaded and let him absorb the rage and selfishness in her for him. By the time Tedros and Agatha got there, Sophie huh? had agreed to give the witch a kiss and helped him gradually regain his sealed magic. <laughs> it turned out that because of being worried about Sophie, Agatha begged Tedros to rescue her friend, but when they got here, it was too late. Even if Tedros panicked and attacked the witch, she immediately knocked him down, then fired magic to destroy the entire kingdom. <laughs> Although Agatha felt very frightened by the scene in front of her, she saw Sophie was gradually being completely controlled, so she tried to risk storming into battle with the Dark Witch. <laughs> Sophie is now completely manipulated by me and has become evil. It is not long before you can touch or awaken her mind. No! What Sophie wanted was to be a good rich princess who helps people like in fairy tales. Besides, she's not the kind of guy who does everything she can to destroy people to get what she wants. So, even though she's going the wrong way and being manipulated by you, I believe her heart is still on the right track. Hearing <laughs> Agatha's words, the witch was angry, intending to silence her forever. Sophie awakened from Agatha's friendship and tried to shield her best friend from magic. <laughs> Because his magic flick was too strong for the common people, Sophie was slowly dissipating. No, I can't be sealed again. Certainly, I will punish you all! But as he rushed towards Sophie and Agatha, a bright light emanated from their friendship bracelet and struck her. Tedros also took the opportunity to destroy the witch, causing her to be completely dissolved. Unfortunately, it couldn't help Sophie to recover from her wounds and recover as she had originally done. I'm sorry, Agatha! I thought you loved me and wanted to rule the kingdom with me, but it was all a lie! What he really wants is to just to destroy everyone, so I can't let him hurt you! But thanks to you, I understand that the real princess doesn't have to be a splendid appearance, but they need pure heart, willing to ignore mistakes and help everyone. I am willing to sacrifice myself to make up for the mistakes I made to you and to everyone else. Besides, I've just seen a stronger Agatha, so I hope you can keep this up without me around. I see. I'm glad to have a friend like you around. Then Sophie vanished under the stars before <laughs> Agatha's morning. Over the years, Agatha always tried to fulfill Sophie's wishes with Tedros. And gradually, the two also began to get to know each other and decided to marry. That day, while everyone was joyfully celebrating the big day, Sophie suddenly appeared from the starry sky and embraced Agatha. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha